Adventure Time doesn't need an introduction, and neither does Bloons TD. Both are quite well known popular pieces of media. So what happens when you mix two popular things? Well, you get Space Jam. But also, Bloons Adventure Time TD. Shoot balloons as they invade the land of Ooh, just like how they invaded Ohio in 1986. I don't like where this is going. The game started out decently, though I do hate forced tutorials. Nothing worse than being forced to feel dumb and being treated like you rode the short bus to school. No, 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 no. But after the hour long tutorial, or at least it felt that long, I was free to play the game how I wanted. Right away, I was kind of turned off. Not only was the game way too infested with microtransactions that were obviously pay to win, but the graphics were not that great. What I did like was how they got the voice actors to reprise their respective roles from the show. You started out with Finn, get a stupid monkey, then Jake, and the biggest criminal in the land of Ooh being Princess Bubblegum to join you. Good lord! The gameplay is simple. Each character does different damage, speed, range, and types of attacks, being more effective than others when dealing with certain balloons. So if you got the armored ones, the stupid monkey is best, especially with the camo ones. Jake is slow, but deals good damage. PB has range and can slow down balloons. Finn is the all-around type. You can unlock many characters from the show, but only ever got Ice King afterwards before quitting over boredom. The game isn't that challenging, at the least if you've played a tower defense game before back in the day of Newgrounds, Miniclip, and other Flash sites, or anything on mobile. So I had no trouble playing the game, it's easy. In fact, too easy. It's also very slow, even with the speed up option enabled. Plus the grind, items, and either microtransaction incentive mechanics turned me off after a while as well. I just don't like all of those loot crates, goo wishes, items, allies, key level up items for each character you need to collect to boost their stats and have a better chance of playing the game on higher difficulties and playing more challenging levels. I'm no Asmongold. This type of stuff turns me off. At the end of the day, after spending 46 minutes with this mobile game blown up on a PC, I can without a doubt say it's fine, nothing special. It did interest me more than the original balloons on Steam, namely because, you know, it's Adventure Time. Plus, this one was free, so of course I gave it a try. It's nothing special, but nothing awful either. I do recommend it. Just go in expecting Nothing great, it's just another mobile game put onto a PC to milk more people who are stupid enough to buy microtransactions. However, I refuse to be a whale. Based.